Hello again. Uh, Chris here, really 140, but I'm actually on Simon's channel, clearly. Uh, really loud craft beer, and you're watching it, so uh, welcome. Um, Simon's been rubbing his hands, so he doesn't, I, I think he's at, out of, of the ability to do the introduction today, which is why I'm doing it. Um, this is a beer that's been sent to us by Helge. Yeah. Um, and it's called Comrades Stout. There you go. And it's from Lurvig yeah. in Norway. Yeah, that's the one. There you go. And excuse the pronunciation, it's one of these things. I don't speak Norwegian, I expect you to speak English as well as I do. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But I think we should open this beer and find out what it's like. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Dead excited by this. This is the best before 27th, 13th, 18th, so you could hang, hang, hang on to this for another few years. 10.4% ABV. We're not hanging on to it. No, we're, we're getting straight into it. There's the bottle cap. And we'll get some poured in this glass for some it. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, and I call this, give it a rigorous pour, Chris. I call this, call this the Scandinavian style oh. imperial style. Look at that. Look at the way that head, the colour of it, big, thick, viscous, coffee, coffee coloured head. Of it, yeah, yeah. Um, a lovely jet black colour, but it's the head for me that gives it all away. <laughs> all away. <laughs> wow. It's got oatmeal. It's brewed with oatmeal, so you can have a lovely, big, thick, creamy. Yeah, Russian imperial stout, brewed with oatmeal. So it's that, that's yeah. that style of yeast. It's got the oatmeal in to give it that, that breakfasty kind of hit. That's the one. That's 7. the one. Ten point four percent. That's that's a big boy, isn't it? It's a big boy. Mm. So aroma. <laughs> oh, it's just unbelievable. It's the it's the spirity whiskiness that that gets me on that. But then yeah. topped off with a bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla, a bit of berry in there. Yeah, it's almost vinous. Yeah, this is smelling fabulous. Let's dive in. Cheers. To drink. Go. <laughs> it's that good. Where do you start with that? It's the mouth feel, everything about that beer is just. <laughs> it's still kicking. Yeah. That is amazing. And it's taking my socks off. It's worn me through to my boots. That is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I'd... Yeah. I'm loath to have a second mouthful because I'll, I'll do the same thing again. Mm. It promises everything that comes in the nose, it, it delivers, which is excellent. Um, the, the carbonation is just enough to shove those flavours around, not too fast, not too slow. There's the booziness, the spiritiness, that warmth coming through. Absolutely amazing. It's, wow. Blimey. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Mouthfeel. I think if you were to imagine. I always say this in the reviews of these beers, if you were to imagine caramel slipping through your fingers or chocolate slipping through your fingers or maybe a thick coffee doing the same thing, it's that mouthfeel, isn't it? It's the key. I reckon if you gobbed off Jesus, it would be nearly as tasty as this. Yeah. That's where I am with it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all about the mouthfeel. It, it's, it's big, it's bold, it sticks, it's yeah. vinous, it's, Chocolate, it, coffee, caramel. It's, it's in the front of my mouth, it's down my throat. It's, yeah. It's just, ah, it's making my ears go warm. It's, just, yeah. it's fantastic. Really good. A fantastic beer. We have tried something from Lervig before. It was, we were actually out in Cardiff. Um, it was discount drinks in Cardiff. It was a beer brewed by McKellar and he brewed it at Lervig Brewery and it was a double IPA and that was that was yeah. really good. Picture really of the good. eyes on the artwork. <laughs> yeah, but if you imagine, uh, if you look back at that review, uh, I think in the review I actually say, um, oh, you've had one other beer from, from Lervig and it was unbelievable mm. and, and this was it, mm. this was it. So, um, yeah, because that McKellar style one, that, that, that was um, huge and orangey. Yeah. And it, maybe it's just slightly in the background, you've got a little, Pack of that going on. It's just yeah, like shunting you like right at the end. There's that slight fruitiness. Yeah, it's 
how I mean it's how I wanted I, I brewed a Russian Imperial style with Chris and we and we actually put some oats in from mm. White Rose. Um and I'm wondering if it's got anywhere kind of close to this. Um in terms of in terms of because we've aged it now for three months. Oh, yeah, have you got any left? Yeah, I've got some. I got three oh, we'll bottles left. We'll yeah. have to try it. But yeah, amazing beer. Mm. Amazing beer. How would you how would you rate it? That's a ten out of ten for me. No problem at all. Mm. It's um, it's it's hard to find a beer that makes me stop talking. Yeah, yeah. It's making me stop talking now. Yeah, <laughs> it's that good. It's that good. So, Lerbig Conrad Stout, ten out of ten for me. Ten out of ten from Chris. Mm. Um, thank you to, very much to Hal from sending. I am really pleased because um, I've reviewed this beer before on the channel, uh, and I wish I shared it with somebody. So the second time round, the mm. second time I got the beer, I thought, right, definitely going to share it with Chris. You'll really appreciate this beer. At this ABV, you can share a three thirty. Yeah, there. that's no problem. At absolutely, all. absolutely. So I'm glad he enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. Check him out, Real Inn One Forty, on all the social networks. Subscribe to us and cheers.